My name's Richard Andrew Pearson, Lieutenant Commander, United States Navy, retired, SEAL Team One. My childhood wasn't the normal that you see on television. It was very, very uh, sad. When I turned uh, 17, I went to Houston, Texas and joined the Navy. The first uniform I, we, I wore when UDT and throughout SEAL Team was a bathing suit. But in combat, I wore the same clothes that the enemy wore in Vietnam, which were just black pajamas. I had, had no education, but I knew how to work. And I always took the worst job available. I knew there was only one way to go, and that was up. SEAL, Special Forces, Marine Recon, Air Force Special Units, they all work together now, which is good, because in my time, they wouldn't work together. We had a boat that we called the Mighty Mo. I was the mortarman, but my legs were bad. So I had my friend Bob Henry change places with me. He took a round in the mortar pit and was paralyzed. Should have been me. Children of all nations are good. This little boy tripped a booby trap showing us where his Viet Cong had run and blew his leg off. I rushed him back to the hospital, Dr. Gatalock, the real hero. He, he put him back together, but he didn't have artificial legs, but we got crutches for him. He had a smile on his face. I took his picture with me. Tough. I coached Pop Warner football. My wife said, they want you to come to the football game. Well, they surprised me with tons of toys, clothes, crutches. And we ended up taking all that to SEAL team and we built a, a wooden four by eight box. And we put it on our airplane when we went back and took it up there. I think the only thing that I would do differently, I would have paid more attention to the opportunities that the military provides for getting a formal education. The teachers that you have are just that, they're teachers. They're not authoritarian. They're getting all their information from books or papers or social media. You have to take it upon yourself to read the history of our country.